crash incident report. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Lion ass. Your underwear. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover up? I'm not lying to you. You found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told you what happened, and she told me to toughen up. But that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but <laughs> my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. Fifteen-year-old man, too young. A lot of people may argue that. So I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica. To tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry then. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take No, care. I read the letter. You're lying, Jessica. How are we gonna make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? <laughs> I read the whole letter, man. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. And do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. Association with Bishop. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Okay. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McCaffrey? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seems very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Jimmy. Like they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. Evidence of criminal abuse. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. I don't know. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was it the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home to yourself better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? You're not getting the part. Stupid. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Ballard is definitely up to something. Okay. We have a tailing mission now. Must focus.
She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Get in there and see what she's up to. God damn it all, I asked them to hold the mayo. Don't you? Then make some calls. Huh. I'm gonna be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he's done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella. What did you make of the kid? Did you believe the story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting cap. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Probably. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? <laughs> Done it. Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. Well, I guess we gotta pay for that now. I tried to stop them. It's it's room 803, left out of the elevator. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Look, ladies, I can tell you or I can tell your husband. Which one is it gonna be? Bullshit. Let her have it, Eddie. Give it up, LAPD! All right, if you really want to dance. Must be 
you out of your tiny mind. Bitches. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Look at this mess. Uh... That's a nice view, beautiful view. This is all blocked. Hmm. I don't think this is any use to us. Alright, uh... Let's see what we got, let's see what we got. Gay Cowboys. Presented to Mark. Gay cowboys. Wow. Ah, my foot is it. My leg is itching. Got anything over here? Nope. Nope. None of these are useful. There's a check. Twenty thousand dollar check. Do to earn twenty thousand dollars. Jesus. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica. Movies a replica. Uh, Jesus, they're so fucking loud. Looks like the old movie set downtown. I mean, really people could be so loud. Like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. There's the set. Hollywood's own little piece of Babylon. See what we got. Yeah, prop store, photograph, shadow, twenty thousand check, movie set, and movie set. I guess we can talk to her now. Domestic disturbance. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. <laughs> She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Okay. 